Hey guys, what's up? This is Panzer Dragon, and today we'll be doing a Jarvan commentary, a how to carry guide where you get into my head, uh, why I do this, decision making, etc. And so, yeah, you guys will see that challenge level play that you always been wanting to. You can put this input this into your own playstyle and see how you do with it. Um, and this is how I play Jarvan in this game. Uh, I usually do go I usually do good in these types of videos, I or phenomenal or whatever. Um, so I tried to get good gameplay of me doing good. So, uh, yeah, uh, and then you guys can learn from that. Also, in this game, I do build offensively because I do get pretty cocky and think we're gonna win. And so I like to kill people, but you'll see that it kind of backfires a bit. Not real, actually, it doesn't really backfire. Um, I just play the team fights really differently and let Alistair tank. Um, I play more cautiously and more assassin kind of thing. Or I still try and catch people, whatever. Uh, so right here, I'm going to start red because I'm going to cheese the Zerath uh, since uh, he's a really high priority target. Since I know I can snowball talent, uh, he's also a really good player. So I like to uh, camp camp lanes that I think is going to carry. Um, and it, yeah, it is Zerath, so he has no escapes. I mean, he has Ghost and Flash, but whatever. So right here, after this red, I'm going to hit middle. Um, I think I'm gonna yeah, I think I'm gonna wait until Talon's level two. Actually no, I just go in just because I want to blow a summoner so I can come back later. Uh, so that's all I needed. If I got an if I, I it was a good flash by him because if he got hit by it, he would take a lot of damage. So uh, if you're a mid laner and Jarvan comes to your lane like that, you and you're about to get hit by a knockup, you have to flash if you don't think you're gonna dodge it. So um, me going to red to blue doesn't l open me up to counter jungling. Because, I mean, Vi knows where I go, but it's not in her route. Uh, if she started maybe blue... Actually, she, she could counter jungle me. Um, but she's probably all the way... She's probably on her way through here uh, to go to her blue. And then, if I go blue here, um, she can't really counter jungle me. Uh, yeah. So, I avoid... I avoid... What's her name? From hitting me. And right here, look at this. I want to hit mid again. Yeah, I want to hit mid again because he has no flash. And so I know, yeah, easily this could be a free kill. He goes on him. Here is, uh, what's his name? Here comes Vi for a good counter gank. And she flashes for me. I get out. And right here, I'm thinking they want to go back in on him. Because she got stunned. But I accidentally get hit by Zerat's Q. And so I actually didn't know how big that range was. And uh, I thought that Vi would Q into Talon. And I could just knock him up and get maybe... Uh, yeah, but maybe they would do something stupid, but I actually honestly didn't think that Zerath key would have killed me too, but right here he gets a free kill onto, uh, uh what's his name, Zerath, so that's pretty good for him, and right here I'm going to go with mid hit with him to push it out, um, because Zerath miss, will miss all the CS, and of course Vi is forced to be mid, so sure jungle pressure is off, and right here I'm looking towards top, um, Aurelia has a stun, I have a knockup, so it's kind of easy to kill, although Nidalee is kind of jukey with their pounce, so I have to look out for that. And right here, she backs off, and I'm like, ooh, okay, so she, there's definitely a ward right here. Uh, the way she's reacting, as you can see, there was a ward right there, so. Oh yeah, if you see a reaction that they play, their playstyle is different, that means there's a ward. Uh, so, just automatically think that, and yeah, if they react like that when you're coming. So, right, right here, she backs out. And I'm like, okay, so maybe this tri-bush is warded. Uh, but as you saw previously, that ward was there. Um, so I saw a little aggressive in this, and I wanted to see if I could do anything. So right here, uh, easy kill on Xerath again. Um, he has no flash or ghost, so Talon goes right onto him. And here's the knockup, and he dies. So, yeah, like, my priority is Xerath, because we offer so much damage, NZC. Um... Yeah, like I said, Zerath's going to be one of my main camp camping lanes this game. Uh, and then, yeah, bot lane, not really. Thresh and Lucian is kind of hard. Lucian is a dash, Thresh is a flay. Uh, although it is Alistair. But anyways, we actually go bottom to bottom, me and Talon, because uh, there's actually nothing to do on the map. I don't want to really do wolves or anything. Uh, there's a pink ward here, so yeah, we can't go in on that. Also, Talon is ultimate, so we could get a kill if they didn't know. Or blow some summoners or whatever. So right here, this is Talon going on to... Oh, he misses the rake. He misses the rake. And then I see that Talon's going on to Vi. So I'm going to go right on to him too. 
and I pick up the kill. Uh, Talon's gonna live probably since no one's roaming to him. So yeah, I see that Talon is going to the V. So I react on that, and right here I'm just gonna cover for him. Uh, just hold the tower, and not gonna get hit by any harass uh, because I want to still be full of points. My blue or sorry, red is coming up, um, and I probably want to try and find a gank somewhere. So right here, yeah. So I give him all that CS. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, I th I'm not sure. Oh, I keep the red, so it would come to me. So yeah, I'm not using my E. Oh wait, I think I just yeah. I'm not using my E because that thing costs a lot of mana. You just want to use your Q when you're doing that stuff. Um, and right here, I'm probably gonna go back after this or cover bottom uh, since I have little mana and hit point. So yeah, I give him the blue buff. And right here, uh, this is what you gotta do when you're at towers. You know that if they, you know they can dive you. Um, Basically, you don't want to be in the vicinity of their CC or anything, so you just hold the tower and just cover uh, X lane XP right here. So if I use my Q combo, I mean if I just use my Q to clear the waves, um, I'm susceptible to... Yeah, basically, I'm susceptible to uh, blowing my flash and just doing that, and I don't really want to do that, so I'm leaving my EQ combo up for an escape if they do land a hook. Also, that I if I did I didn't initiate there because I had no mana for my ultimate. It's a cost 100. I had like 96. So I was like, eh, whatever. Um, just a bit low on mana. This kind of sucks. I would initiate it too since my bot lane was coming there. Uh, but the timing was a bit off since I had no mana and they got there when the tower died. So right here, I'm just gonna farm, uh, do this camps, and since I know that bot lane went back or like thresh someone went back and they're being pushed in. We're just gonna do this uh, dragon, and also Aurelia has teleport, so we can easily get this dragon since there is teleport. I do get the smite on the dragon, and right here I'm just gonna back. I flash Lucian because I know he can kill me with a E and then Q combo. So yeah, I'm just gonna back out of that, and I'm just staying to see if I can pick someone off if they go on Caitlyn. Uh, yeah, if they go on Caitlyn, um, then I could maybe knock up somebody, but. No one's gonna go on Caitlyn, so I'm gonna back out right here. I see the team fight's done since my team was there. I'm staying until like something happens or I can pick someone off. But no one gets picked off. Um, I still have all my, my ultimate and all this damage, so yeah. Um, right here, it looks like we're gonna have to cover mid because they're pushing in. Uh, so I'm just gonna EQ combo and then Demacia him. Uh, I, I did see earlier that Lucian did dash, and so I knew that I could blow something on him. If I did my ultimate, I knew his dash was down, so he was trapped in, and he blows a flash. I chase him, but then once I see this pop a heal, uh, I back out of that. And right here, I'm going to go on to... Oh my god, did I get that? Uh, so I'm just going to go right on to Zerath, because I thought they got the Zerath... Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, I thought they got the Thresh, but he lives. And here, I'm just going to keep going straight on to Zerath, but my Q is like 15 mana, so... I'm just going to chase him until my mana thing is up. Um, I'm just going to ward. And here my Q stabs in the face. So right here, we're just going to push out mid. Um, yeah, push out mid because uh, Zareth is dead. And so uh, we're going to force Vi back into mid. Um, I was looking to do my raids after because I have lots of Considered Sex. But I'm going to do my Golems. So I need to get rid of those Considered Sex and they do have some up. Next up is going to be top lane. So there's a ward here. I can't I can't gank this anymore. Uh, Nita's gonna go back into passive mode, or she's gonna recover since she was low or something. I don't remember. And since my red is low, actually no. Right here we're gonna wait for what's his name to come. Zareth. Um, Zareth has no flash or ghost. I know that um, from a previous fight. So right here we just go on to Zareth, and I immediately use my ultimate, not waiting to him for to blow any escapes or whatever. Um, easy kill again. Zareth no escapes. Like I said. And uh, next pit stop is going to be... Oh, so I see Talon's roaming. And since he's roaming, that means I can clear his, clear his mid lane. And just shove it in. And then I can do something else. Uh, people are going to be forced mid again. Uh, I'm going to go to my red. And then probably try and gank top lane. Um, since that's the only kill I can see. Bot lane, their tower is gone. So uh, bot lane's lane won't overstay across the river. Um, if we do, we do kill them since they don't have any deep wards. And so the only two lanes right now is Zerath, who's probably going to play more passive since I've been camping him a lot 
And the next lane is going to be this low Nidalee who has no health. And so she's my priority target. I know I can duel Vi in a 2v2 situation, even maybe under tower. We can burst this Nidalee out. Uh, so yeah. And right here, we're going to either get this tower, but instead, I see the opportunity to kill Nidalee. I see that she pounces, and we're going to finally ult onto her. And then we kill her. Next up is Vi. Kill her. And as you can see, I did knock her up because that flag was right here. So luckily, it was a good knockup. Uh, sadly, really had to die. And right here, you want to push the lane out again or try and get this tower. Um, yeah, since Nidalee and Vi are both dead, no one can really contest. Zerat's not here. Uh, if they're bot lane, they come up. That'd be kind of weird since they're basically in the bot lane. And so right here, I build like a brutalizer and like a pickaxe or something. A lot of offensive items. So. Dragon is actually coming up really soon, so we want to prepare for that. Um, as you can see, it's only in 20 seconds, so I can do a wave camp. Although I do smite, and I don't think we're in any position to uh, dragon right now since everyone's recalling. Talon's kind of top. Right here, I'm going to go on the duel onto Vi. I know I can actually kill her. I actually missed the Q combo on her. Um, she gets pulled out, but I still know I can kill her because my ult's coming right up, and my EQ combo is. Yeah. My EQ combo. Uh, would have killed her in her ultimate, so yeah. Right here, Nidalee is actually going to go on to me. God, her base damage is so OP. She has so much damage. Uh, I'm thinking of engaging in this, but no. Look how much people. Look where. Look where people are at. It's just me and Alistair. Don't engage in that. It's really dumb to do that. And so I'm going to heal off these. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, red bulls. And then I see that something's going on mid, so I see opportunity to jump in mid. We're going to jump into, I actually screw up that EQ combo somehow again. Um, and yeah, but I guess I wouldn't have done anything if I did. Uh, right here is the EQ combo. Then I jump onto uh, Lucian, because I did see a flash earlier in that team fight. Uh, I think we should rewind that again to see where he flashed. So right here, he flashes and then dashes out. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Um, his dash is definitely down since I know it's like an 18 second cooldown. And so, easy kill onto Lucian. Um, he's not going to dash out of my pit, so I ult onto that. Then we're going to go try and get this dragon. Um, although, people, some people have... I think some people do other things. People get caught out. So, right here, they jump for the Vi. Uh, and I'm like, uh, we should go to dragon. Then right here, my team's like, kind of sticking left and right. Um, but I just honestly want to do dragon. And so... I actually have no mana to get back over the dragon, so I have to flash. I actually have to flash over this, and then I can only poke my Q over the wall. I'm gonna just keep hitting this dragon, but I do see the team fights going salty, so we do back out of this. Um, I do smite this thing because I need mana for my EQ combo, and so that's a thing I can do. And right here, I drop my flag down, uh, and then I Q since I do see that Nidalee does flash, and I knock her up onto, under the tower, so she does die. Um. I was actually going to try and escape with that flag, but luckily I held it in until she flashed or something or did something weird. So that's why I did that. And here I'm thinking we can, I can get this dragon, maybe scare it off because I have a smite, but uh, I, I don't scare him off at all. So we're just going to do these wolves. Um, and yeah, I'm building a lot time at, I'm really bad or something. So I want to just... Try and get this mid tower too. Maybe get some pressure somewhere else. Um, this blue might be up. And we do have lots of pressure. I think someone just backed or something. So we're going to get this blue buff for free. And yeah. We're going to back out of this. Um, <laughs> I guess I don't back out. But I thought I could like kind of duel her. But then Nidalee is too strong. Her base damage is super high. So we're going to get this red buff. I get the red buff. And I do see something going on mid. Talon is kind of throwing a bit. Uh, so it's gonna be a harder game and you'll see and right here they can siege up mid and I'm actually since I'm full damage I'm waiting for Alistair to initiate and so uh, I'm actually really scared someone kind of squishy so here goes here he goes uh, he gets EQ combo on those two guys but I don't want Vi or Thrash because they're kind of tanky I want the Zerath and yeah uh, we do go on that I take a lot of poke damage and if I got, I saw a hook coming, and if I got hooked by that, I'd be so dead. So it was a really risky play by me. We could have like poked it out and maybe like given it up, but I, I would not recommend you fighting. Uh, I think that was a three v four. Yeah, don't fight a three v four, even if you're under tower like that with uh, no talent, since he is one of the 
biggest burst damages we have. And so, right here, um, I see stuff is going on. Uh, but again, this is a bad fight to fight. Uh, Talon's low, Alistair's low, so you don't want to fight that. And yeah, I build Negatron because Zara's kind of getting annoying. Uh, so, and Nilly does magic damage too, so it's fine. Uh, I'm probably I'm going trying to get the Banshees. Um, so what we gonna want to do is get Baron control, and that's why I buy two pinks. And what we're gonna do with this Baron is we're gonna pick people off when they come into this vicinity. Uh, again, this is like a high elo strat. I would not recommend you doing this in uh, lower elo just because. Um, no one will understand how to do this, and so, uh, not the Baron control, it's just the catch people out and not do Baron kind of thing. You'll see how we do it. It's really, I guess you could say advanced. Um, so we're gonna try, we were trying to catch out Nidalee, but right here, we're gonna position ourselves right here. If you can somehow organize this and tell your teammates, don't do this, don't start Baron, we're just gonna try and kill someone. Like, that's a lot of typing, too. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of, kind of... Annoying. Uh, so right here, we're gonna see the Thresh is gonna face check it, and my first priority is him. And next up is Zara. They both pull flashes. That's really good, and we can just keep doing this forever and ever. Uh, my ultimate is 68 seconds, so we can yeah, we can definitely do that in another minute. Uh, Flash is a six minute cooldown or something, and so uh, definitely my ult for the Flash is fine. We can definitely win another team fight. So right here is a team fight onto Thresh. But I see better opportunities to go on, what's his name, Lucian. He flashes, that's fine. I'm out, I'm good, and I don't want to fight anymore. Um, but I'm thinking my team is kind of going too much in. So I'm like, oh, okay, we got to get out of here. Uh, so I'm going to get out. And yeah, I'm looking to see if they're doing Baron. It looks like they're trying to zone me off the Baron. I'm holding on to Smite, even though I do need mana. Uh, and yeah. I have to hold him to my smite, so yeah. Uh, right here, my team is just gonna fend him off. I'm here, just kind of distracting these two. I still have my flash up. I know I'm not gonna die. I do get stunned. I might have died here, so I'm gonna flash out. And luckily, my team is like distracting them and killing them while they're on Baron. And so we did save Baron. Could have good job, team. Um, you're gonna. Oh yeah, Talon dies here. Uh, I remember he gets like super stunned, and they. Don't... I don't think they get a lot of kills, but you can see, here I come to try and clean up. This is what you want to do when you see free kills on the map. You're just going to go, Ugh, I got to get that. I got to get that. And then, yeah, they take it. So he gets a good knock up. All I need to do is kill him, get the shutdown. Next up we got to do is this dragon because it's the nearest objectives on the map. Since we do see a lot of people dying at Thresh and Xerath, uh, even though it's just us two, this ward is here to protect us from any incoming intruders so we can back off if needed. And yeah, this dragon is for free. Um... I was thinking of clearing bot, but I'm thinking I think Talon wants that. So he's gonna get that after. And then we can do that thing we did at the Baron Pit and just try and do that. At least that's what I want to do and try and set that up again. So I do have one more pink. I should have bought more pinks though. Um So we're gonna do that thing again where we do. Sweeper. Uh Oracles would be kinda nice, but these pink this pink cord right here is good. And yeah. So I wanna do this pit thing again. Uh, waiting for my team to position and let's see who we can catch out so right here is a Vi I missed my EQ combo um, she gets knocked up I'm actually trying to zone these people with my ultimate and I back right up because uh, I know they can kill me so I do back right up onto the Vi uh, next person is going to be the caught out Zerath uh, yeah it's going to be Zerath and, or the Nidalee it's, it's kind of going really wishy-washy left and right so it's really awkward and then right here uh, Lucian I'm seeing, looking at Lucian, and he does dash onto Caitlyn. Uh, he doesn't get the auto attack on her, and we do clean up her because he did that one fatal mistake. And this team fight is done. So yeah, since we basically got all the carries, and they have no more damage. Uh, right here, we're th I'm thinking of Baron. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of Baron, because Nidalee doesn't have teleport. I mean, Vi is coming in soon, uh, but Aurelia is not coming. Uh, we really do need Aurelia for this. Um, we could burst it down with her, and yeah, we're not gonna get this at all. So I have to back out of this. Maybe if Aurelia was here and tanking it, we would have got it, but I don't think it's gonna happen anymore. So that's something that you might see in Lorielos. Uh, people not coming to Baron, and then 
Yeah, and then now you're forced to back off it. But as you can see, that's what you gotta do if you're if you can't do better and you see the enemy coming, you back off it. Okay, so uh, yeah, as you can see, I play the team fights really EQ in and I alt out and I really disengage because uh, um, I'm I'm fr I'm afraid they can kill me since I'm not that tanky. So I get hooked in and I'm gonna EQ out and try and peel for uh, Caitlyn, but she's gonna die. I'm gonna alt in. Uh, since I do see Talons coming back in, so I want to get that AoE combo onto all of them. Uh, good polarized by Alistair, and then I just chain the CC with her onto Vi, and we do clean up that for free. Well, not really that free. So I say back team, uh, because Zareth and Lucian are in this vicinity, they can easily be picked up by his ultimate or QW combo. So I want to back off with that. And finally, I do get my Banshee, so I can kind of go all in, but uh, it's still kind of risky since I do have 2300 hit points. Uh, so I'm just trying to find some camps to clean. Uh, since my team isn't really doing anything right now, uh, we are going to get vicinity. Uh, sorry, uh, do that Baron control thing we did again. Um, though I forgot to buy pink this time, so we're going to have to do something different. And right here, it looks like ooh, he's going for her or something. But yeah, so right here, I understand that I'm missing two core I a core item, which is my pink ward. And yeah, so I think Talon is kind of throwing. Wei Zhao, Wei Zhao. Uh, so, let's see. Um, we can't really do much. We have to try to stall until he's back up. And... Yeah, so I'm just going to try and farm this out. And... Yeah. Just going to farm it out. Oh, so Dragon is up. And we want to look towards that a bit. Since they are recalling. The enemy team actually should be going to Dragon. It's really free for them. Uh, but they're not. And so, right here, we clear that out. I see that uh, Rally is getting cut off, so whatever. Um, I get hooked, and and I actually miss my EQ combo. So I'm maybe forced to flash, but I do see that there's no damage coming from the enemy team. And so I don't have to get the back or flash out. So right here, look how I play this team fight. I flash out since I know I can die from Vi. She might ult me or something. And I'm just playing really cautiously until I can find a pick somewhere. Um, so... I'm not going to, there I alt in, and then I EQ out, because I know they're going to try and focus me right after, so I don't want to die. Uh, this alt is just a trap uh, buy, and yeah, basically, not going all in, playing more cautiously, defensively, and that's what you're going to want to do, is survive every team fight, which I'm trying to do, uh, while, while doing my combo and stuff, and just locking people down. So right here, we're going to try for that tower. I say Aurelia can get this tower, and then maybe she can solo a dragon. Uh, we don't need her, so we did a clean ace. Um, but she does come now, or whatever. And then right after this, we're going to get the dragon, because after... Yeah, dragon is still a really important resource, since... Um, what is it? So, yeah, see, it gives like 255 gold to everyone. So it's almost worth as much as Baron in terms of gold efficiency. Uh, but you don't get the temporary buff. So with this Baron buff, we can easily clean up the team fight, next team fight. Um, as you see, I did get Black Beaver because we're all AD, so this helps everyone. Uh, yeah. So right, we're just gonna push out mid. Uh, we don't really have that much poke. We have Caitlyn, um, so we're just gonna try to find picks and try and out rotate them, and yeah, just out rotate them and do stuff. Uh, Explaining rotation is really hard. You have to go to the push lanes, basically. If you go to a push lane hitting a tower, you can easily kill that. Uh, otherwise, the enemy loses. Like, if you go see right here, we can rotate top if we want to. And the enemy has to stay mid because they have to clear mid. And then we yeah, basically do that. So right here, he's disconnected. I know that. That's why I did a short, short ass EQ combo. And and then I'm like, nah, I'm not going to go for that uh, if he's disconnected. But yeah, whatever. So right here, I see the team fight. Here I EQ out because I was tanking a, tanking a tower, but then you get it. But I'm pretty tanky right now, so the tower actually didn't do much damage. Um, I messed up my EQ combo again because uh, I got flayed. And then that kind of screws me up when I don't cast the TP. So yeah. Uh, so he dies, and basically this team fight, this game is done. As you can see, we got a clean ace, and we can just end it from here. So yeah. Um, as you can see, I play the team fight a bit more cautiously. And yeah, that's a Jarvan. Even though I kind of suck as an early game, not really early game. I just made a big mistake when I got hit by that Zerath Q. Uh, despite that, I tried to make some plays, like tried to do some calls, what you gotta do, uh, make some picks everywhere, 
And yeah, as Jarvan, I like to make picks and uh, camp lanes with no escapes since my ultimate can trap over 3 seconds. And yeah, thank you for watching, I am Panther Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.